Hey guys, welcome back. Hope everybody's staying safe in the middle of the coronavirus outbreak. And we're gonna keep trying to beat the boss upstairs. I think we're pretty close to the end. I realize that there's one thing we didn't do against this boss, that's parry. Maybe I should try to parry her. Penitent one and sleep carrying yeah, the yeah, weapon yeah. I and thus. I, I, I. Okay. Come on. Oh damn. Dodge that one. Shit. Run, run, run. Okay, I didn't react to that in time. That's fine. Oh shit, this is a really bad time to heal. All right, come on. Oh, damn. Okay, so I think I think we're getting into a rhythm now. I think I start to understand how to beat her. We just got a one of the good moves that we can use to take off a chunk of HP from her is to jump when she does a dive attack and then do a few area attack in a few row and that allows us to dodge the flame thing and do some damage at the same time. And uh, maybe another thing I could try is to stay in melee range and block her and that seemed to work. I can block the wrong range charge but I can come up with a follow up attack. So, Alright, let's try this again. Penitent one in sleeplessness. Carrying the guilt we have been entrusted with I, Chris uh -huh, and thus uh -huh. sure. That bad bad. I'm really cold. My fingers are frozen. They're not as dexterous as I'd like them to be. Okay. Penitent one in sleep, carrying the guilt we have been I, and thus shall. I think we need to uh, we need to do a few changes before we keep going with this part. 
I'm thinking, what if we... Maybe I should look up how to finish this area here. Right here, this area here, and then this area here. Maybe it'll have some kind of item to help us. We're still missing one sword shrine, right? So from what I've seen, there's only like a little bit left over here before the game ends. Yeah, so I'm gonna look up um, how to get to those areas, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, we're back. So uh, I look up the guide and it ended up at this guy here when he's crying in front of the statue. If we equip all the three toes that he gave us, we could um, help him move the statue and that gave us an item that allowed us to jump higher in the water area. And that opened up more the additional area with the item and whatnot. So yeah. Barefoot master. What else? Yay, I moved the statue. No one. Master showeth us the continuation of the path. Barefoot master. Barefoot master. Cool. And now we shall have the item. Nail uprooted from dirt. Yeah, but this is a dead end though. I wonder where this guy is gonna go. Like he'll come into the room, and they'll be like, "Oh, it's a dead end." Oh, sins of mine. Yeah, sins of yours. Is he in this room now? Oh, he died. Oh no. What do you drop? Okay, I got another rosary rope. That's good. But yeah, that sucks. The habit of monks deceased in ancient time, and Grisha was her name. Her rosary were prettiest of all of Custodia. The most prestigious priest and bishop frequented her worship. And even... Uh, okay. Yeah, no, that's uh, we read that before. Okay, so we're heading out. And now, I'm going to... Um, I'm gonna have to take the portal all the way back to our burrow and then I'll do this part. Yeah, and then I'll take care of this area. So yes, yeah, see you guys in a bit. Alright, and we're here. Yeah, now I can move freely in the water. Should be able to open both doors with this. And I got a baby. Yes! I just need six more babies. Hmm, I don't know where they are at. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna check the right side first. Look, there is a door here. There's an item there. Ah, uh, what? Hyroid? Thyroid? Hyroid. Hyoid. A bone of Senex. The beggar. Senex spent a lifetime fleeing pain, which caused more and more suffering. A drug addict. Okay. To his tormented soul, only when he accepted pain as part of his life did he find meaning to it. Okay, that's well said. And okay, and now we're going to the ele elevator area. I should open up that, and if I unequip this relic and equip the tongue, I should make that part grow out. Hello. Chalice of inverted verse. Um 
simple appearance, interior embroidered in lackluster silver, the pick rows of spear, spiral verse which descend to bottom. This rhythm speaks of pagan beasts and forbidden fruit. The cup is partially filled with tear of atonement, harvested by Mia Cupra. Uh, but father, where are all the idol? Painting a statue that mother has seized and banned. If they were inspired by the fate of her miracle, they should not have been destroyed, for it would be a grave sin. I don't know. There are some, but I would bet my fate that those underground gallery hide more than air. Oh. This thing must go to the the painting area, right? Yeah. And there's a door that I couldn't open from this side. Nothing happened. Okay. So I guess we must go... We must um, bring the cup to the painting area and then we'll do something with it there. I don't really know. Yeah, sure. We'll give it a shot. Whatever. Can I jump down from here? Certainly wish I can. Uh, Cupros. Let's bring this over. Okay, so I'm gonna take that off and I'm gonna do that one. And that should allow me to fall down here. What? No! No! Okay. Oh. I'm all the way back here. This is unbelievable. Okay, you know what? I don't even care. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go to the port portal and then I'm gonna use that to go to the painting area. Yeah, just bear with me for a bit while I Whoa. Our attack really hurts. Yeah, but I'm barely getting any. Um, I'm barely getting any uh, souls for that. Okay, I kind of need a guild statue to erase my guilt. Okay, so I got the glob of candle here. Bought everything from this shop. So I feel it by killing the statue, right? Is that what it is? What about this guy? This guy don't seem to feel it as much. Okay, and do I go to the room to the right? Oh, maybe I need the. Uh, maybe I need to collect all the candle wax. See, there's a red candle and a blue candle. I got all the red candle, but I haven't got all the blue candle yet. There's so many things to do. I know I said I'm not trying to aim for 100% completion, but you know, there's no harm in that. Or did I already lose my chance of 100% completion by killing that lady? Here, can I use that? And 
Is there anything over here? Does not seem like it. They're all coming back to life. Hey! Okay, so that didn't fill my chalice for some reason. But the other one did. What if I go back and kill... I didn't do anything. Okay, that's a candle room, which... That's actually a lot better than my um, my range attack that costs fever. There's nothing here. Ah, I'm disappointed. No, 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 no. Phew. Okay, so I think I'm gonna while well, I'm here, I'm gonna revisit the uh the cow baby. Ow. Ow. No. No! some more babies for you. Are you gonna give me something? Hello. Please find the rest. No, but okay. Like so I guess you want me to find all the baby. Ah <sighs> okay. I have no idea what they could be. But we're going. Okay, actually, you, I, I guess you guys don't need to watch me uh, do the rest of those. So, um, I'm just gonna give you a breakdown of my plan. So now that we're here, I'm gonna first head back here and try to open the door with a partially filled chalice, see if that works. And then I'm gonna look for the last bit of the, the blue candle. And I'll come back to the candle area and see if I can open that door over here with the candles, and then we'll see what happens after. Okay, see you guys in a second. Okay guys, we're back. So, 
<sighs> what I had to do is um, I had to kill one of those painting guardian over here, uh, the the huge statue with the coffin on his back, and then I had to go all the way up here and um, kill one of those um, big, tall, lion-headed thing. And then I had to go over here to kill one of those cow-headed thing. And now the chalice is completely filled. We can give it to this guy. Yes. Door is open, and we could go ahead. Yes. So that this is the last shrine, I believe. There we go. Oh, and I don't have enough. I don't have enough soul to learn that. Rich is mastery in technique of casting blessed blood. After launching, the projectile causes a sacred explosion at the furthest point from its trajectory, causing additional damage. It consumes fever. Okay. Wow. Um. Okay. So I guess I'm going to. What I'm going to do next is. I'm gonna go all the way back up here. I think there's something that we need to. Yeah, we haven't got all the item from this area yet, so I'm gonna go there. And I think there is a rosary knot somewhere over here, or somewhere over here rather. And then I got this item from uh, the burial guy while I was in Alboro, so I'm gonna figure out what's going on with that one. And lastly, I'm gonna get one more drop of. I'm gonna uh, complete the uh, bead of blue wax and then I'll check out the painting room. There's so many things to do. <laughs> So where do I start? Um, maybe I'll just head up from here and then um, do we finish this area? I may not have got everything from this area. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna head, head, head over there and then make sure we got everything in the holy line. Okay, see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, we're back. So, I went ahead and did a few things. Um, I got a bunch of rosary knots from all over the place. And now I have a lot more slot to put the beads. I'm missing one, I'm not sure which one I'm missing. Um, I'm probably gonna find the last one in my own time. Um, yeah, and uh, I have been collecting babies and I have about four babies left. I need to look into that. I'll probably do it off camera. At this point the collectible is just for my own personal satisfaction. I don't think it's very interesting to watch anyway. And um, I also got both of the wax bead, right? Isn't this exciting? So now what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna wait oops yeah right I'm gonna equip both of the beads and then I'm gonna cut myself and see what happens. Oh, this door! I knew it! And there's an item, whatever you are. Molten Heart of Boiling Blood. Sore core, dry and slightly porous to touch. It caused me a cupola to throw to drop thirstily after every kill, transferring life force to his wear, but reducing the amount of health recovered by bile vessel. <sighs> this would have been useful uh, when I was playing through the game, but now that um, I'm in the bosses, I don't think this is that useful, which is too bad. Okay, and yeah, so I think I'm gonna stop this part here. I know this part is a bit short, but I've been playing this game for like almost two hours now trying to get out the collectible, so yeah. I'll see you guys on the next part. I'm probably gonna do some more off screen gameplay um, to get my collectibles, and then we'll see you back here at the boss. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.